Okay, in this video, we're going to work a bunch of factoring example problems. All right, so the first thing you wanna look for is if you can take out a greatest common factor. That's probably the, the first thing to look for. So here, you can see, looks like we can take out a 10 and an X. So 10X, right? So you've got three X cubed plus seven X squared minus 12x minus 28 okay so now let's let's look at this this four term expression here when you've got more than four terms one thing to look for is if you can group like terms then that, that might help you okay so we see this 3 and 12 are pretty similar and this 7 and 28 are similar right 7 times 4 is 28 so let's try that so let's let's bring those terms together. So 3x cubed minus 12x, and then let's bring together the 7x squared and the 28. Okay. So now let's factor each of the like let's factor the 3x cubed and the 12x separately from the 7x squared and the 28. So 10x. Okay. Let's take out a 3x here. So you get x minus 4, okay? And then plus, let's take out a 7, where you get x squared minus 4. Take out a 7, and you get x squared minus 4. Okay, so, th so there we go, right? We've got two common terms. That's good. So we can factor, we can factor out this x squared minus 4. So 10x times x squared minus 4, and then 3x plus 7. Okay, so now we've got this difference of two squares. So we know that like a squared minus b squared is a plus b, a minus b. So we've got x squared minus 2 squared here, so 10x, this is x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, and that's your final answer. Okay, so just the first thing that, that, that pops out at me is this, this y squared plus 10y minus 25, because... That's just a familiar form where, like, you, you've got, so you know that, like, y plus 5 squared is equal to y squared plus 5y plus 5y is 10y, and then 5 times 5 is 25, right? This, that's not the exact same thing as this, but it's close. So it makes me wonder, you know, they must, this must have... This a y plus five squared probably has something to do with this problem. Otherwise, why would this be there, right? So, so let's write this. Let's 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 get a y the, a positive in front of the y squared. So a squared, and then so we need to do minus y squared minus ten y plus. 25 right that's the same thing if you distribute that minus okay so is this should be so y minus 5 squared so y squared minus 5y minus 5y minus 10y plus 25 yes so that, there we go this is y minus 5 squared this here so a squared minus y minus 5 squared. Okay, so we've got the difference of two squares here, right? A squared minus, and, and this, is like a, this is like your b. y minus 5 is like your b. A squared minus b squared. Well, you know, it would be more like minus b squared, right? You see? So, so okay, so a squared minus b squared. A plus B plus Y minus 5. Okay. 
and then A minus B. A, but this is tricky though. Okay, like let's A minus what? Minus B, minus all of B. Minus Y minus five. Right? You gotta you have to put it like like this is this is your B here. This is your it's minus all of B, whatever B is. So you, you have to put a parenthesis, and then you'll distribute that minus. So, so this is A plus Y minus 5. Okay, then A minus Y plus 5. All right, it's a little tricky, that making sure you, you have this minus the entire B. You gotta put that parentheses. Okay, so I see there's a Y in every term. There's an X in every term, okay? And then it was definitely divisible by five. Everything's divisible by five at least. And five is the greatest common factor of, of these coefficients here. So let's take out a five X Y. So five X Y, you get six x squared plus 125 divided by 5 so 25 x plus and then this would be 24 okay so all right so now we we need to factor this okay so how do you factor three terms where, where the leading coefficient is not one okay so you you do 24 times 6 so 144 all right so we've got 144 we need to break this down so 144 4 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so that's divisible by 3 so Okay, so 48 times 3, 24 times 2 times 3, 6 times 4 times 2 times 3. So, a 24 and a 6, no. 12 and 12, no. Okay, so 3 times 2 times 4 times 2 times 3. Okay, so a 9 and a 4 times 2 is 8. 9 and a 16, yeah, there we go. Okay, so... A 9 and a 16. So now we, we've got, we multiplied 6 times 24. We got 144. And then we, we broke that down and saw that we have a 9 and a 16 that, that add to 25. 9 plus 16 is plus 25. And then 9 plus 9 times plus 16 gives you the 6 times 24. So we can, we can do grouping here. So we want to write 25 as 9, 25x as 9x plus 16x but we want to group similar terms. So the 9x is going to be grouped with the 6x. Those are similar. So 5xy, 6x squared plus 9x plus 16x plus 24. Okay, 5xy, okay, let's take out a 3x here. So we get 2x plus 3. Okay, now let's take out a 8 here, and you get 2x plus 3. There you go. Right, this common, this 2x plus 3 matching comes from our analysis. That was, we, 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 we knew that would happen. So, so factoring out that 2x plus 3, you get 2x plus 3, 3x plus 8. And that's your final answer. Okay, so what, what you need to recognize here is this looks similar to something that we're familiar with, right? We know, we know, look, we're very familiar with this, x squared plus bx plus c, right? We know how to work with this. This looks like you've got something squared, 
minus you know you could or minus three it's kind of like you know the the b is minus three here times something and then plus something or my or you know you, you see how you can match this up like so like look let's say that i said that u is equal to to, to this this x squared minus two so i'm going to make this substitution so in that case, what do we get? U squared minus 3U minus 28, right? Now, we're very familiar with this. That, that's what I was talking about. That it's, it's the same form. So we can factor this. So 1 times minus 28. So we've got minus 28 minus 7 times 4. Minus 7 plus 4 is minus 3. Minus 7 times 4 is minus 28. Yes. So this is u minus 7, u plus 4. Okay? All right. So now all we need to do is just substitute what, what our u is back into the equation. So u, x squared minus 2 minus 7. x squared minus 2 plus 4, right? Minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9. Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. Okay, so now we can factor this, right? x squared minus 9, that's just a difference of, of 2 squares. So we know that this is x plus 3, x minus 3. And then we've got x squared plus 2. And that's your final answer. Okay, so looking at this, again, like, well, first of all, I, when I see 16, I think 4 squared, right? And then this looks like something that it's close to something that we're familiar with, right? We're familiar with a squared minus b squared. That's what we're familiar with. Well, this, this is something squared minus, well, 4 squared is 16, right? So you could almost say that this is your A, and then your B minus what? Your B is 4, right? So that, that's what we're going to do. We're going to say that as far as this A squared minus B squared, we're going to say that A is equal to X cubed plus 12, Okay, and then B is equal to 4. That's exactly what we have here. So writing this out then, right, if, if we know that this is, this is A plus B, A minus B, then just matching up terms, we can say, okay, we've got X cubed plus 12 plus 4. And then x cubed plus 12 minus 4. Right? So this is x cubed plus 16. And x cubed plus 8. All right? So we're not done yet because, okay, we're done with this x cubed plus 16 because nothing cubed, no, there's no round number that's cubed that's equal to 16. But 2 cubed is equal to 8. So we've got x cubed plus 2 cubed. And we know that, we know that a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b, a squared minus a b plus b squared. So again we can match up terms, right? Because because this is this is two cubed. So let's write this out. So x cubed plus sixteen. Okay, so x plus two then x squared minus two x plus four. And that's your final answer. Okay, so just like before, right? This is like, it, 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 this is something squared minus something squared. So it's like, it's like you have 
this a squared minus b squared. We know that a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b, right? So like our a, we're going to say our a here is x plus y. And our b here is, is not minus z, it's just z, right? We have a squared minus b squared. So we can just say, all right, we've got a plus b. And we've got a minus b. And, th and that's your final answer. So the sum of two cubes, right? It's similar to like, this is your A, this is your B, right? So we're going to say that our, our A is X plus Y, and our B is Z for the sum of two cubes. And we know that the sum of two cubes, A cubed plus B cubed, is... A plus B, A squared minus AB plus B squared. So this is, so A, X plus Y plus B. Okay. Now A squared, so X plus Y squared minus a times b plus b squared okay so now let's just distribute all, all of this here so you got x plus y plus z okay and then you've got x plus y times x plus y minus, let's distribute this z, xz plus xy, and put, put your, 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 put, use alphabetical order, plus z squared. Okay, so we've got x plus y plus z. All right, so x squared plus xy plus xy plus 2xy plus y squared minus xz minus xy plus z squared. And that, you can't go any further than that. That's your final answer. Okay, so again, this, this looks, you can see that you've got something squared and then like another like it looks it looks like it could be close to this this a x squared plus b x plus c form that we're familiar with right i see this like this is this this something squared and then here's that something not squared and then, and then that something's not there just like this right there's no x here so like let's just rewrite this you've got 3 n plus 1 squared so with 49 3 and plus 1 squared plus 42 m 3 n plus 1 plus 9 m squared right so looking at this you can see you can kind of start to match things up between these two right if if, if we wrote so let, let's do this let's say that let's say that u is equal to 3 n plus 1. So in that case, we've got what? 49u squared plus 42mu plus 9m squared. Okay, so that looks pretty familiar, but you've got this m here. Is that another variable? Well, you can just treat, you can treat that as a constant for what we're trying to do. So like if you just imagine that this m, right, Looking at, looking at these two forms, just imagine that the m is a constant. It's, it has nothing to do with the factoring as far as the variable u. So we, let's try that, right? So how would we factor this? Just you gotta treat m like it's, like it's just a number for the, for, the, for the time being. How would you factor this? You would say, okay, you multiply a times c. 
So, so 49 times 9m squared. So what's 49 times 9? That's, that's, okay, so 441. So, so, okay, so 441 m squared. Let's break that down. So 441 divided by 3. One forty seven. So this is one forty seven M times three M. Okay, so one forty seven divided by three. So this is this is forty nine. You've got a forty nine times three times three. Okay, so we won't be able to use well. well we're going to we're trying to find two numbers. So seven times seven times three times three. So twenty one and twenty one. So yeah. So we could do this. We could say so four forty one m squared is twenty one m times twenty one m, and that adds to forty two m. You see, it's a little confusing, but it's we're doing the same. We're we're just factoring like we normally do if we have some leading coefficient that's not one and just treating m like it's a constant, right? So, like, we can write this as 49u squared plus 21mu plus 21mu plus 9m squared, right? And that, and, if, and this grouping is going to give us a, a constant, like a, a, a similar factor. So if we take out here, let's take out a, a 7u, so we get... 7u plus 3m, okay? And so here, let's take out a 7u. You get a, a, or a 3u. Take out a 3u. So you get a 7, or 3m, 3m. You can't take out a u. So 3m so this gives you 7u plus 3m. So this is 7u plus 3m squared, right? It's 2 7u plus 3ms. Right? This worked because of, 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 of what we, because we broke down this factor, or we broke this down to see what would add up if, if we could group it like this. And we could. So... So this U, we have to substitute back for this U. So what do we have? We've got 7 times U is 3N plus 1 plus 3M. Okay, so now we've got 21N plus 7 plus 3M squared. And that's your final answer. So pr pretty cool, right? That 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 these two are, are are the exact same thing. Interesting. Okay. So so again, you've got something squared minus something squared. Notice that familiar form, right? We know what like if this was an A and this was a B, we can we we can work with that, right? We know what a squared minus b squared is. So let's say that a is c minus 3 and b is 2c minus 5. In that case, we've got a squared minus b squared. So a, c minus 3 plus b, 2c minus 5. Okay, and then a c minus 3 minus b minus all of b right don't forget you, it's minus b this entire term 2c minus 5 is b so okay so you get c plus 2c is 3c minus 3 minus 5 is 8 okay so now let's distribute so you get c minus 3 minus 2c plus 5, okay, so 3C minus 8, 
and then C minus 2C is minus C. Minus 3 plus 5 is 2. So let's just let's rearrange this and say, so 3C minus 8, and then 2 minus C. That's your final answer. Okay, so when I look at this, there's no common factor we can take out. But I know that 4 cubed is 64, and there's a P cubed here, so that makes me wonder that there's something, that these are meant to go together. Um, you know, you can't say, like, let's say that U is equal to, like, you know, substitute, and you get some familiar form. You can't really do that. So let's just leave this P cubed and 64 together and see, let's, let's, let's factor out, let's see if we can, like, do grouping, right? Let's leave common terms or... Uh, related terms together and, and, and then group since we've got four term more than three terms. So taking out a P to the eight. Okay, so what do you get? P cubed minus sixty four. There we go. Okay. Right. And we also have a P cubed and a sixty four over here. So let's do this. Because we want to create another P cubed minus sixty four. Let's make the the front of the P positive. So take out a minus, and you got p cubed minus 64, right? So you see how this is the exact same thing? You, you, you have this, this, we factor out of p to the 8th. So this is p to the 11th minus 64 p to the 8th. And then we took out this minus sign, so if you distribute it, you get minus p cubed plus 64, which is exactly what this is. So, so these two are equivalent, these two expressions. So, okay, we, can, we have a P cubed minus 64 we can take out. So, P cubed minus 64, and then P to the eighth minus 1, okay? So, we've got a 4 cubed is 64, okay? So, we've got P cubed minus 4 cubed, okay? So, we have a difference of 2 cubes. And now 1 cubed is equal to 1, but there's no, like, 8 divided by 3 is, is not, there's no number, like, there's no round number for 8 divided by 3. But we do have p to the 4th squared minus 1 squared. So we got a difference of 2 squares here. Okay, so a difference of 2 cubes and a difference of 2 squares. All right, so we know the difference of 2 cubes we get what? P minus 4, okay? And then P squared plus 4 times P plus 4 squared, right? Go to the previous problems where we, we, we write down the, the difference of two cubes formulas. Or you, can, or you can Google that, the difference of two cubes. Factor difference of two cubes, okay? So now this, difference of two squares, we know this, right? A plus B, A minus B. So here we've got P to the fourth plus one and P to the fourth minus one, okay? So th these are fully factored, these three, but we can, this is another difference of two squares, right? This is, this is P squared squared and this is one squared okay so you got p minus four p squared plus four p plus 16 p to the fourth plus one and then okay let's do this again so p squared plus one and then p squared minus one Okay, so almost done. We've got another difference of two squares here. So P minus 4, P squared plus 4P plus 16, P fourth plus 1, P squared. Okay, so now this is what? P minus 1, P plus 1. And that is your final answer. Okay, so this, again, it looks close to something we're familiar with, right? This looks close to x squared plus bx plus c, 
right? We're very familiar with this. It looks close to that, okay? And it also looks similar, similar because like, okay, so two divided by two is one, right? But and look, six divided by two is three. So if you think about it, you can do this. You can say, let's, let's say that u is equal to m cubed. So what this gives us is like m to the sixth is u squared, right? If you square u, you get m to the sixth. So we've got u squared plus 26u, right? That's just our m cubed minus 27. So, so now this is that form we're very familiar with, right? We know how to factor this. So we've got one times minus 27, so minus 27. So you got 27 times minus 1. Yeah, so 27 minus 1 is 26, positive 26. Then 27 times minus 1 is minus 27. So we can say this is u plus 27 and u minus 1. All right, now let's substitute our u back in. So this is m cubed plus 27 and then m cubed minus 1. One, Okay, we've got a sum of two cubes and a difference of two cubes. So I've already written that formula. You can Google it, those, those two formulas. I've written those formulas on previous problems. But, right, so we've got m cubed plus 3 cubed. And then m cubed minus 1 cubed. A sum of two cubes and a difference of two cubes. So we know that this is, so the sum of two cubes, m plus 3 Okay, then m squared or minus m squared minus 3m plus 3 squared. Okay, now the difference of two cubes, we've got m minus 1. Okay, then we got m squared plus 1 times m plus 1 squared. Okay, now that, and that, that's your final answer. Okay, so, so okay, so you start by looking for a common factor you could take out. I see there's a Z in every uh, term, so we can take out a Z. We can definitely take out a 2, and I believe 2 is the, the, the largest we can take out. So let's say you've got 2Z, take out a 2Z, so 8X to the 6 plus 19x cubed, 27. Okay, so just like we've done in previous problems, this looks familiar, right? This We want to factor this, but we, we can say that to do this, we can say that, let's say that u is equal to x cubed. In that case, you've got what? 8u squared plus 19u minus 27. Okay, so now we can factor this. So, so minus 27 times 8, so 27 times 8, 8 times 7, so 216. So we've got minus 216. So we can, 216 is divisible by 3. Okay, so minus 72 times 3, so 72 is divisible by 3, so 24 minus 24 times 3 times 3, minus 6 times 4 times 3 times 3, minus 2 times 3 times 4. Okay, so we want to get 19. 24 times 9, so 24 and 9, no. 18 and 12, no. 9, 27 and 8, yes. 27 minus 8 is what we can use. So so we you, you'd be tempted to group the 27s together, right? I mean, that's, that's as common as it gets, as related as it, as it gets. But you're actually going to, you, you want to group the, the 27 with the 8, that's going to give you that that common term. So, like, we want to do this. We want to say, we want to say 8u squared plus 27u minus 
8u minus 27. That's what we want to do. So 2z. Now here let's take out a, a u. So you get 8u plus 27. And then take out a minus 1 and you get 8u plus 27. That's, that's how you get your, your common term. So 2z. Now 8u plus 27 and u minus 1. Okay, so now let's substitute our u back in. So we get, so 2z, 8x cubed plus 27, and then x cubed minus 1. So we're not done yet because we have a sum of two cubes and a difference of two cubes, right? You've got 2z, and then this is 2x cubed plus 3 cubed. And then you've got x cubed minus 1 cubed. So we can continue this here. And we've got, so we've got 2z. All right, so the sum of two cubes, 2x plus 3, okay? Now, 2x squared is 4, or 2x, all of 2x squared is 4x squared, plus 2x times 3, 6x plus 3 squared, all right? Now, the difference of two cubes, you've got x minus 1, or actually this is, this should be minus. Okay, the difference of two cubes, x minus 1, then you've got x squared plus x plus 1. And that, th this is your final answer, this, this entire term here. So looking at this, I just, when I see x squared minus y squared, I think x plus y, x minus y, right? a squared minus b squared. And then I also see an x plus y here. So I wonder, to me, that, that, you, that, that there's a relation there. So let's say this. Like we've got this x squared minus y squared is, we know is x plus y, x minus y, right? Okay, and then we got minus x, right? Just write the rest of the, of the expression. Okay, so... We want to we want to make this like its own term. This x we want to make this its own term because potentially we can factor, right? It's you can't just do this. You can't just say that. Why? Because this means okay minus x minus y. That's not the same thing. You have to say so x plus y, x minus y, and then minus x minus y like that right that's the because now you get minus x and then plus y and so that, that you get you get what you originally had so now we can look at this like okay you got like a this is like an a this is like a b and then this is like a b right the x minus y's are the same so if you have a times b minus b that's just you take out a b and you get a minus you get b times a minus one, right? You just take out a b, so you just you take out, you do that, you take out the b, and what do you get? You get x plus y minus one, and and that's your final answer.